Hello friends. While I use Stellarium to illustrate the astronomy behind the Hindu calendar, I do not utilize the full capacity of Stellarium. So here is a small video clip to illustrate to you what Stellarium is truly capable of doing. So on the left here you can see Buddha. This is Shukra. This is of course Surya. But down here is a beautiful rendition of Guru Jupiter in color, including the bands of Jupiter. And here is an equally delectable rendition of Shanaishchara, Saturn, Shani, including the rings of Saturn, clearly beautifully simulated. And in the middle here, there is a blue dot that is Neptune. It's not part of the Navagraha, but Stellarium simulates everything in the solar system anyway. So now I'm going to accelerate time and see what happens. I'm speeding up time. And there, Chandra makes an appearance. And just look at the detail on the surface of Chandra and also see the movement, the spinning movement of Jupiter on its own axis. Now, as Chandra approaching the sun, the dark portion is growing bigger and bigger and the bright portion is growing smaller. So we are in Krishna Paksha, obviously. And look at Jupiter. You, you can see the big red spot on Jupiter as it goes around. This is the one I'm talking about. The movements of the planets are so beautifully simulated. And it's not just these, of course, Ashokra is also moving. Buddha has already moved off the screen. And now as the moon approaches the sun, the crescent is very thin now. So we are getting close to Amavasya. And you know that Amavasya marks the end of a Chandramana Masa in the Amaganta tradition. And that's where we are getting to. It's approaching the sun and now it's Amavasya. And here you can see another dot that is Uranus, not part of the Navagraha. And there Chandra also goes off the screen and that brings me to the end of the animation. Thanks for watching.